Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with StampingWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So welcome to my YouTube Live or on my Facebook. I really do appreciate it when you do come. This is part of my Thursday Now What series. And this is where it's kind of a mishmash of anything that I kind of want to show um, different sort of things. Um, and I apologize yesterday for not doing my mystery challenge, but I just couldn't with everything that was happening yesterday it was just better to say i wasn't going to do it um and not be stressed out about it and not do a proper project in any event uh, awesome so this is part of my live so it is part of a live presentation and if you don't like it when i talk with different people watch it on the replay and you can scoot on by um coming next week and i believe it's on monday what happens with facebook in the facebook group I will not be able to stream to face the Facebook group. I'll only be streaming to my Facebook page and to YouTube. So I strongly suggest that maybe what you do is like um, go in, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then that way you will be watching things as I do go live. Hit that bell and you get notified immediately, or you go in and you like my page. Awesome. So now what? What are we going to play with today? I thought, you know what? I, I don't feature um, Wink Estella that often. And now that Wink Estella is back in stock, it's a good time to do it. So let me go on down to my desktop and we'll get going here. Hello, Renee. And um, Ina and Laura. Hello. So we're going to play with um, the Wink Estella. Like I say, this Wink Estella is um, back in stock. I do want to tell you about one thing. When you get this Wink Estella, um, there are instructions that show it, but in order to get it going, what you have to do is you have to come in here, take this black piece off, and then there's a pin in there. And this pin actually just goes in and pokes that through, and that gives us our brand new Wink of Stella. Now, because I just did that, I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to mark it with a stamping blend. To make myself know that this is a brand new one and I won't have to play around with it. So that's my brand new one. And I do tend to mark up an awful lot of that that way. But I'm not going to be using this one today because I still have some in there. So hello. Hi, Pam. Hi, Lila. And hello, Tina and Pam. Good afternoon or good evening. It depends where you are. It could even be good morning almost in Australia, couldn't it? Yours comes out in blobs. Well, if yours comes out in blobs, you're going to absolutely love this particular um, technique that I'm doing. I am going to use the lovely and sweet bundle. Remember the bundles are retiring from um, the mini catalog. So you will have to pay the higher price when you buy a bundle before it retires. It's a 10% savings. So um, the other part, the notes of nature didn't carry over, but this one did carry over. So I'm going to use that. Um, of course, the Wink of Stella. Now, another thing that we want to do is we want to go in and there's a few other things that carried over. I'm using... I'm actually going to go in here. This is soft sea foam. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. We'll just go in. Remember to fold into the mountain. That's the bump line. And the way I always say it is fold into the way that you don't think it should go. How's that? So there's that. I do have a layer of basic white that's four by five and a quarter, and we're going to layer that on, but I'm not doing that until after because I could turn around and say, I'm going to use my, um, my, um, I'm going to use ribbon or something like that on there. Um, in the outside. Hmm. Well, um, I I'm going to show you a technique that you can do, and this might end up being on my technique gallery as well. Um, just for the fact that I can turn around and it's something that I haven't shown on that technique thing. Now this is petal pink and this is um this is three and three quarters by five inches and I did it with the fern embossing folder and I've got to tell you it looks a little grungy but actually it's green that's been was put on the embossing folder and 
honestly, I have to tell you, I got a little lazy and I just ran it through and I can't, it's going to look okay with that. Hello, Margaret. Yes. Good morning. So like I say, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. No matter where you are in the world, isn't this technology is amazing that keeps you connected. All right. So we're just going to put this on here. And then I did go ahead and stamp this, but let's go and stamp this part here. So I have this bigger ink stamp and I put it on, um, what block is this? This is an E block and I'm going to come in with Memento and I'm going to stamp it. And then we'll pretend that we cut it out, but because I've got it done already ahead of time. But let's go do this. And then this cuts out great with the embossing folder. So I've got that. I've got that for another card is what I can do. But I also have, I should have had an inside piece as well. Oh, this was supposed to be the inside piece. This was supposed to be the stamping piece. That's okay. We're going to go in. And I'm actually going to take this. This is an ink eraser. Um, you can find it on Amazon. It's a sand and rubber eraser. There just happened to be a bit of a blob on there. So I am going to come in with this image here and I'm going to stamp that down on this corner or in the middle there. And we're going to do the same technique with this as we do with this one here. Now, this is... You know what? I gotta stamp that to see how that goes. I'm gonna just stamp it on this side here. Hmm. Let's do it like that. That'll be okay with it being that way on an angle. All right, so this is the beauty of showing you what to do with this Wink of Stella. So what I'm going to do is, yes, these are my dog containers. And um, what I'm going to do, I use these a lot in my crafting. So you don't want to screw that off. You just want to pull it off. Now, this is one that's already done. And if you have a blobbing one, you're just going to take this and put some Wink of Stella, and you can do this on anything. This is the soft sea foam. I'm just going to come in here and it's I'm just going to get a bit of ink on there. I'm going to also do the same with the um, petal pink, and I'm going to have to put some more Wink of Stella on here. And all I do is squeeze that out. And then what we're going to do is, now I don't use my aqua painters or my water painters on here. I tend to like to use an old brush and mine is one from an old store that was around. And I'm just going to mix this and watch how this works on here. So I'm just coming in and I'm just going to paint this. Now I'm painting on the Wink of Stella, and the Soft Sea Foam. It is a little bit darker than what it normally would be from an ink pad, which is good because I did want my leaves to be darker than the Soft Sea Foam. And we're gonna color all of that. And I think I need some more Wink of Stella on there. So see, now we've got another use with Wink of Stella that we can do. I knew that this was going to be getting empty, so that's why we opened up that other, um, that other one. And then let's just, and it doesn't, it's, we're, we're just painting it. We're not, um, I'm not being that picky on it. As you would see if you saw this up close, 
Maybe I should put my glasses on. That might help. Yes, there you go. So we have that. We're going to let that kind of dry. Um, I just have a cloth that I'm just wiping this off with. I'm going to come in and I'm going to use the petal pink. And I'm just coming in here on the flowers. And I'm just doing the inside. And it kind of does spread a little bit. Just like that. Again, I'm going to clean that off. And that's just very, very faint. But you can see it. It's just beautiful. All this color in here is just amazing. I'm using a tiny bit more of the soft sea foam because you'll see what I want to do with this in just a second. Now, I had decided that what I didn't want to do is I, I had gone in and I had tried the the crumb cake i tried um the pecan pie to do these the the bulbs for this and i didn't quite like how it turned out so i could do it with a darker petal pink which is not too bad which is a lot better than the but that's more saturated petal pink in there And then you can also, once I go back in here, you'll see what I can do now is I'm going to actually come in with this green and we're going to actually, I'm going to do it on the stems here. And we want it that lighter color. Just like that. Now, this is the darker part. And now I'm just going to come in here and we're just going to put that kind of down here and we're going to just lightly color this. So we're doing a Wink of Stella wash. How's that? That's what we could call this technique. It's quite funny how when you start doing this, you kind of want to add things like that to your, your um, techniques, right? With that. There we go. And another one here. So you can see that's not really um see how that works? Just like that. Now I have this one as well, so we want to go in. And let's just sort of color this. That needs some more Wink of Stella in there. Like I say, I know that. Now, don't also, don't throw out your empty Wink of Stellas. Because you can put a reinker in there with some alcohol. And you could do some coloring with that as well. So this is just the inside. And just normal. This is heavy, um, basic white, actually, just to let you know. So. No, you don't need watercolor because um, the reason you don't is because um, this would soak in there ra rather quickly. Just coming in where it's a little bit darker, maybe pull in some of that reinker. And then just a bit on the inside here. So. And then we can go in and just color in here. So see, there's another way that you can use your, your Wink of Stella. 
All right. So let's go and finish off our card. This has still got to dry a little bit. So let's decide what we want to do here. I think what I'm going to do is I cut this die from there. And I think we can put a word on there, words on there. So this is just going to go like this with these words on there. And you know what? The one I really like on here. And what is it called? Oh, my goodness. It's the daisy one. I know it goes by a funny name. But it didn't retire either. Oh, here it is. Cheerful daisies. And I really like this. Wishing you a brightest birthday. So let's go in. And we can put that on there. Remember when you have a photopolymer stamp set, what you want to do is you want to let it relax and pick it up like that. Now, hopefully that's going to fit on there. Oh, not bad. And I'm going to come in actually with Coastal Cabana. Not Coastal Cabana. Calypso Coral. I don't know why I get those two mixed up. The CCs, I guess. And we're just going to go... Now, if this didn't say, oops, a daisy, so sorry, I would have gone for that so, so sorry one. But we're okay. Let's just stamp that. This is going to go here. All right. So I do want to put some, some um, ribbon on there. And we do happen to have this ribbon. And it's the white and the petal pink diagonal ribbon. And this is some um, featured in the countryside or the birdhouse countryside one. Now, I've got this so tied up in a knot. Not sure how that even happened. Oh my goodness. That is disgusting. Look at that. Well, there's one end there. I'll take the time when I'm on. And there's the other end. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do is I want to have this come across here, but I was thinking I'd like to have the white behind as well. So let's come in with our tear and tape and we're going to have to do this a couple of times. Remember, if you like this, give me the thumbs up. Share my video. I really do appreciate that. So let me just come in here. There's a shade from the shade of the past and from the past. I have those in my um, customers. Um, I put them in um, some buckets, usually when I do um, city classes, because I'm amazed at how things disappear so quickly. All right, so we're just going to come in and snip that off. Your ribbon bin, oh my goodness, that is not normal like that. I did drop it before, which, ugh. So I'm just gonna come again. This is gonna reinforce the white. Hopefully we've got that in the right spot. Let's make sure we've got that in the right, right spot. I'll be upset if I don't. You know what, that'll work okay. I'm going to come in and I'm going to put this ribbon down below there. So we're going to have to take that one off as well. And my ribbon is usually pretty good. Um, I like my ribbon, so I usually try to put it back, but it fell on the floor. All right, so... This, I'm just going to come in and put this down just here. And again, we're going to reinforce that down because we don't want that coming off, that's for sure. Go. 
All right. So then this is going to go onto our card base here. So um, what is um, happening? Um, don't forget, if you're interested in the color club, um, that's where you get all five sets of colors over five months. You also get, what if you sign up for all five, you get the um, free ink color markers. Plus, also, I do have a couple of goodies there that I've never done before, but I'm excited to do it. All right, so this is going to go like this. Now, I decided to also come in here with my linen thread. I'm just going to come and bring this down here. So what's the one thing that you're the most um, upset about retiring? I think the notes of nature, the one that goes with this one, is one that I'm really going to miss. That and my tailor-made tags. Those are the two that I'm the most upset about. At this point, there'll be other things that come, I'm sure. So this is just going to come down here. We want this. I'm just going to give it a tiny bit of a haircut. Not much, we want that on there. And then I'm going to come in with my dimensionals. Hmm. Well, we have lots of dimensionals here. So I'm going to, let's see, let's put these on first. So I'm just going to cut these. Remember, you use all your dimensionals. It is rather um, it's funny if it, they're new stampers, you always find these in the garbage bins afterwards. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's put this on. You know, I think I'm going to bring it this way because if I go ahead and put this here. Now, this looks kind of, I have to honestly say it looks like it's dull compared to the rest of it. So I am going to come in with my Wink of Stella and I'm going to give a brushing. Whoops. And you know what? This may not work because it might make that run. See how I like that. Let me come in and just dab that off. I may be doing another sentiment on there. Hmm. I don't really like that. Well, let's go ahead and change it. So again, with the Calypso Coral, we're going to come in with that birthday wish. You know what I could do if I wanted to have it a little shiny, I could do it ahead of time. And that'll give us that sheen on there so that, there we go. Then we're going to come in with this. That dries really, really quickly. Yeah, it could be with... Oh, it's the color that you're not liking. I, I think it needs to be... Well, I'm just putting it in this color. It's, it's good, but the early espresso would be good. Yes, Lada. So I'm going to put this ribbon and these dimensionals on the top and the bottom because otherwise it could flip on the um, ribbon. So 
I'm just going to put that there. It is this probably you can't even really see it, but oh my goodness, it's so shiny. You know, I never think of early the espresso that much. I'm just not a brown person. I remember when my mom used to put me in brown and it was like, oof. It was not my good day. There we go. There. Now we need, oh, we also need to put this on the inside. And we've got all that stuff stamped on the back, which is fine. I wonder how many people know that there's different things on the other side of the paper. That's why we glue it down really well, right? Oh, thank you. Well, I hope so. And I mean, like I say, this, I wanted to let you know that the Wink Stella is now available, which is awesome. Here's another one. Um, these um, are the Pretty and Peacock and um, uh, Petal Pink Foil Gems. They're also um, carrying over into the new catalog. So it's always nice to know what's carrying over and what isn't. So this goes very well with this particular one because it gives that shininess as well. You know what? I'm going to use a bigger one and we're going to put it right there. So there's our cart. Pretty simple card, but it shows you. Look at that. Now. I've got to tell you that I did try this with Berry Burst, the flowers with Berry Burst. And I I was having um, problems with the colors that went together. I was, but I did try it with Berry Burst and it looked really nice in the flower parts, but then it started bleeding out more. So that's the reason why I resorted to this one. Thank you. All right. Okay, you guys. So if you like that, give me the thumbs up. Share my video. I really do appreciate it. Leave a comment. Um, I know a lot of you already have left a comment. And remember um, that if you do live in Canada, I'd love to work with you as, as your demonstrator. Lots of things happening. We've got the, the color club. We've got paper and product shares. Another thing that I also do is the stamp camp with the um, countryside bird houses. That, if you get your email, make sure that you do respond to the pre-registration on it because it might be one of those ones that goes very, very quickly. All right, you guys, have a great day. Remember to create because it's great for the soul. And we will see you at 10 o'clock Pacific time with my card sketch. I think it's 204, I think. I'm not sure. I'll, I only know the day that I go ahead and do that. All right, guys, bye for now.